hi guys welcome and welcome back again to my channel today's recipe i shared this amazing soft delicious carrot cake and this cake is very healthy to consume it's so delicious easy to make and you will love it so keep watching and please do not forget to like this video and subscribe all right so the first ingredient you're going to need is carrot so what I did to my carrots was to peel the back of the carrot and then rinse. And next we are going to grab a grater and grate the carrot. And after grating, I'm going to transfer these to a chopping board. And then I will grab a knife and chop these to a smaller pieces. Because at this stage, the carrot kind of feel too big for the texture that I need. All right, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to just grab a knife and then chop this into smaller pieces. So I want to say a big thank you to all my amazing returning subscribers, guys. You all are awesome. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Thank you for the shares, the like, and the comment. I truly appreciate. And if today is your first time coming across my channel, you are welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. All right guys, so after chopping the carrot, I transferred to a bowl, set aside and next I'm gonna grab a large mixing bowl and then I'm gonna break in some eggs, transfer some sugar into the bowl and then I went in with some salt and I'm going to grab my hand mixer and just wix this until it's pale and fluffy. Alright, so after whisking for about two minutes, this is the texture I am going for because I do not need this to be uh, too fluffy. So I just need that cake to be very, very soft in texture. Alright, so after whisking the egg, I'll then transfer the grated carrot into the mixture and i'll grab my spatula and just mix this well to combine and once that is nicely combined here i have my orange i'm just going to zest this into the mixture i need that orange zest you know this is going to add extra flavor and extra color to this cake recipe and once i'm done zesting in the orange i'll then go in with some cinnamon powder and a little bit of nutmeg for extra flavor and then I went in with some cooking oil and now we are going to mix this gently until it's well combined and once everything is nice and combined I'm gonna go ahead and sift in my flour and I'm using all-purpose flour and the reason you need to sift this is for there not to be any lumps in the flour and once I am done sifting in the flour, I'll then go in with my baking powder, sift this in, and then I'm going to grab my spatula. Gently, you're going to just fold all of this, mix them gently. Do not be hard on the mixing because we don't need our cake to be hard. We need the cake to come out super fluffy and soft. And at this point, you want to make sure your oven is preheated. So for me, I've preheated my oven to 180 degree. I want that oven to be hot. Never ever place your cake in an unpreheated oven. Make sure the oven is hot before placing your cake in there. All right, so now I'm going to pour that into my cake pan, which I have placed a parchment paper in. And the color guys at this point you can see how beautiful it's looking all right guys so after pouring in the butter for extra yumminess i'm going to top this with some walnut this is dry nut so i'm going to top it with it and this is going to add extra yumminess extra crunchiness it just took this to a whole level of deliciousness so after adding it i'm just going to grab my spatula and kind of mix this in i place this on top because i don't want it to be in all the cake i don't want it to be everywhere in the cake so i just want it to be on the top and now i will transfer to my preheated oven bake at 180 for about 30 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean and this is it after 30 minutes guys it's ready so you're just gonna wait for that to cool down completely then pull it out of the pan and the parchment paper 
and set aside. All right, so next we are going to make a cream for the topping. And to make this cream, you just need two ingredients, which is cream cheese and powdered sugar. So you're gonna add these two together in a bowl, grab your hand mixer and just mix this until it's light and fluffy, just like this. And next we are going to just add this on the top of the cake and guys, it was so so amazing but you can choose to have your cake the way it is without adding this cream on the top or you can make the cream because it just make it extremely yummy and once i'm done i'm also going to top it with some of the walnuts which is a dry nut and guys it's ready go ahead and enjoy this amazing beautiful soft delicious carrot cake it was so amazing it's so delicious and you will love it and for this is very very healthy and as we know this is the christmas season and is the season for great desserts so you can choose these as one of your desserts for your visitors and i promise you they are absolutely going to appreciate it it's so healthy so delicious the flavor the softness everything is so perfect just take a look at the color and the softness of this cake is so so good this is yummy and it's very very easy and quick to make all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this simple cake recipe if you did please do not forget to like share and also leave me a comment and please do subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to click on the bell notification so you don't miss out on my videos Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Don't go nowhere, enjoy and happy Christmas in advance.